Hello, I'm Joe Commission, your POA Board Secretary, and I'd like to give you a summary of our February 6 open session board meeting. The first order of business was to recognize Jeanette Williams for her contribution to bringing pickleball to Canyon Lake. Jeanette led a one-woman campaign back in 2015 and 2016 to teach friends and neighbors about the game. Her passion and love of the game was infectious and spread throughout the community. In 2016, the Pickleball Club was sanctioned by the POA with 115 members and Jeanette served as its first president. The club currently has over 500 members and six first-rate pickleball courts. It's safe to say that Jeanette had a profound effect on our community and deserves our appreciation. Darcy Burke, our EVMWD representative, talked about when they can operate the gates on the dam. There are only two reasons to open the gates. If the integrity of the dam is at risk, the gates will be open to relieve pressure on the dam. And the only other time would be for regular servicing to exercise the gates. She went on to say that opening the gates during the heavy lanes could cause damage to the areas below the dam. Our first action item was to approve the proceeds from the sale of the fire station from the city to be allocated to the road reserve funds. The fire station sold for $1.39 million with a cash payment of $900,000 and a promissory note of $490,000 for five years at 5.5%. This will provide funding for the road reserve fund through 2028. The second item on the agenda was to revise the Estates Committee Charter to reduce the requirements to five members to resolve quorum issues. Julie White Dahlgren was approved to fill the opening position in the Rules Review Committee. The 28-day reading for Rule GR 3.8 was approved to align the lease terms of 30 days with the most current city ordinance regarding short-term vacation rentals and the prohibition of residents' commercial use of their dwelling. The 28-day reading was amended to approve multiple golf rules except Rule GC 9.1, which was pulled for lack of support. Planning and Compliance Rules, PC 5.7, was approved to include special conditions to clarify the size and material used in the accessory structures. Another Planning and Compliance Rule, PC 4.21, was approved to limit household and storage modules to 14-day use in the member's driveway or in the street. Eric Kazakoff, our general manager, reported that the lodge project is basically completed and both the soft opening and grand opening were large successes. I encourage all of you to visit the lodge and see for yourself what a nice facility we have. Phase three of the paving project has been delayed due to the weather and will be done after phase 10. Our regular schedule will continue with phase four starting on February 12th. Lastly to report is the tennis project was approved with the plans at the city building department awaiting permit. Once received, the materials will be ordered and schedule will be announced. I hope you find this short video recap of the board meeting helpful and welcome any feedback. Thank you.